What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we have a review of four different Airbus A380s which is the world's largest passenger plane and we will dive straight into it. If you guys do enjoy please consider leaving a like. I currently have a ANA Airbus A380, a Asiana Airbus A380, a Air France Airbus A380, and a Qantas Airbus A380. Each of these aircrafts retail for about $60 to $70. They have become very rare considering the A380 has slowly become extinct in the aviation community. But besides that, they are amazing quality models by many different companies. We are going to be starting off the review portion of these models Starting off with the JC Wings ANA Airbus A380 and the Flying Hanu Livery. This is more of a review of the which makes a better brand of the Airbus A380, and we'll be starting off with JC Wings. Right here, you have the nose cone and then your cockpit windows, which are standard to be above the L1 boarding door. Then you have your landing gear, which has been stable for as long as I can remember and has never had any problems. And you have your detail of the shell of the turtle right there. And you have an antenna, a Wi-Fi box, and a beacon light. Your L1 boarding door, your L2 boarding door, and then your upper class. Um, this would be first class boarding. Move a little further down um, the aircraft, we have more turtles towards the back. You can see we have um, the large one right here, the other smaller one, and then the really small one towards the back. You do have your Euro white engines, which JC Wings did a very nice job on doing. Um, I do like this color or tint of white. Then we'll move on to the winglets, uh, which should be in focus now. It's pretty much a Euro white winglet except for the red tip at the bottom which is 100% accurate. Back to the main body, um, we have a few more doors back here, then we have the Japanese flag, ANA, and then their slogan which is Inspiration of Japan. I would like to focus on the tail just a little bit as there is quite a bit of detail. You do have your rudders back here and then A and A across the side. Then your horizontal stabilizers which have never given me a problem. Here is a quick glance from the top so you can see the supreme amount of detail that JC Wings has provided on this aircraft. You can see your um, red dot here which symbolizes the um, Japanese flag. And then you have JA383A, excuse me. Um, that is the registration of the aircraft. Overall, I would give this aircraft a 10 out of 10 for detail and quality. I am very pleased to have had this model for over two years and never had anything malfunction or break off. Now moving on to the Gemini Jet brand with the Asiana Airbus A380. Starting off at the front of the aircraft, we have your nose cone and your cockpit windows. Um, Asiana Airlines is a part of the Star Alliance, so there is their logo right here. Then you have your L1 boarding door with your landing gear, then your Asiana titles. Um, Asiana does have a pretty simple logo, you can just see it's kind of like a um, triangle with the missing bottom. Right here you have the antenna and then a beacon light, which I can see that you can see. If that made any sense. Uh, then you have your L2 boarding door. They would use this for first class and then this for premium economy slash economy. Then here's your upper deck, which would feature a bar, um, sleeping for the crew, and more first class stuff like that. Then you move along towards the back and you get your premium economy. We'll move the aircraft forward just a little bit here. Um, right here we have your Euro white engines, which was the same case with the ANA aircraft. I do want to say this white is not as pearly as the other white on the Airbus A380 by ANA by JC Wings. Right here you have your beacon light and then your, um, your what's it called, winglet, <laughs> excuse me, 
with very good intricate detail so i'd like to give a quick shout out to gemini jets for the detail on the winglet because that can be very hard you have a dark blue a red a little bit of yellow and then a gray at the top now moving back to the body of the aircraft you slowly transition from the white color to the gray color, then to the red color, and then you're towards the back of the aircraft. You have your registration right here, and then four different doors here, which could be used for crew boarding, or really anything. Here is a quick view of the tail. Um, it is a little bit different than the a and one. Not too different. Um, I do see the detail on the tail right here with the colors and then the Korean flag right here. And then the horizontal stabilizers are a very good quality. Here is a view from the top to provide some more detail. Um, there's not very much detail on the wings except for the registration right here. And there are not that many antennas nor Wi-Fi boxes on the top. I will give this model a 8 out of 10. I am very happy with the way that the paint turned out. I did notice that the white is a different color. It is a little bit darker, kind of mixed with a light gray. Um, the only reason I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 is because of the detail. Um, there's no Wi-Fi box, not very many beacon lights, opposed to the a a aircraft. Overall, this received an 8 out of 10. The next aircraft we'll be reviewing is the Air France Airbus A380 by Gemini Jets. I will do my best not to judge the detail of this aircraft considering it is a Euro white aircraft. Right here we have the same situation with the nose cone and the landing gear and the cockpit windows. Air France is a part of the Sky Team, which is the logo you'll see right here. Then you have your L1 boarding door with your Air France titles. Then you have a antenna right here and a cutout of a Wi-Fi box, not a physical Wi-Fi box which is a little disappointing. Then you have two beacon lights, Air France logo, and then the upper deck um, right here. And you do have a little bit of detail on the engines that I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's not too much, but it's definitely more than the other ones. Just allow me to zoom in. You have some sort of blue logo right here, but my main focus is back here. There is a ton of good detail back here with the um, nose or the cone of the engine. And then moving on to the winglets, which are really boring. It is just a all gray um, winglet. And then moving back to the body of the aircraft as well as the tail. Let me just zoom out here. There we go. On the body of the aircraft, you have more of economy class towards the top deck and the bottom. Then you have your registration right here and your um, tail, which is the France flag, quote unquote. It's not exactly it, but it's pretty close. Um, you do have a little bit of detail around the horizontal stabilizers and the APU right here, which just went out of focus. There we go. Um, I do like the detail on the horizontal stabilizers as well as the rudders towards the back of the tail, but this does need some more detail. This one was pretty disappointing, lacking a lot of detail. For example, right here you have the cutout of a Wi-Fi box, but not a physical Wi-Fi box. Um, you do have zero detail on the wings, but I'm aware that could also just be delivery. The horizontal stabilizers right here do look pretty good and so does the tail. This aircraft by Gemini Jets will receive a 8 out of 10. It was lacking a bunch of detail that I was hoping I would see and did not see on the aircraft. The final A380 in this review is the Qantas Airbus A380 by Gemini Jets. Starting off towards the front we have the nose cone right here and then we have the cockpit windows as well as the L1 boarding door. And then you have the landing gear right here, and the Qantas logo right here. Up here we have the antenna, um, zero cutout, or not even a physical Wi-Fi box at the top, which is pretty disappointing, but once again this was like a 2015 release. Then you have your beacon lights and your upper deck, and then you have the Go Wallabies livery, which is the particular livery that this aircraft is in. 
I do like the detail towards the back of the aircraft. Um, you do have your flag, which is the Australian flag, and then wallabies, and then a um, gold picture of it. On the engine, not too much detail. You do have the um, Qantas flag, or the Qantas tail on the engine, which I think is pretty cool, um, which you can see right there. And then you have your winglets, which are a completely red um, winglet and then on the other side it is gray then you have your beacon light right here um, I would like to show you the other side of the winglet as you can see it is just gray on the inside back to the body of the aircraft um, as I did mention there is a lot of detail towards the back of the aircraft with the wallaby right here and then the wallaby on the back of the aircraft on the tail if you will um, this one does have the rudder cutouts right here, as well as the horizontal stabilizers and the APU. Here is a view from the top. Um, as I mentioned, not as much detail as I had hoped for. We also need to remember this was a 2015 release. Overall, I give this aircraft a 9 out of 10. Although it did lack the detail like the Wi-Fi box and some beacon lights, it did have the paint detail that I was looking for, such as the wallaby um, right here, and then the detail on the rudders and the horizontal stabilizers. That does conclude today's review of the Airbus A380. It is hard to say, but overall, JC Wings did score better in the category of detail and paint schemes and stuff like that over the Gemini Jets aircrafts. I would like to get a Phoenix one in the future to also compare to Gemini Jets and JC Wings. But apart from that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, please consider leaving a like on the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye and have a good rest of your day slash night. Goodbye.